Hello, I am Dr. Tina Thomas, obstetrician and gynecologist working with Cradle Apollo, Motherhood, Wims and Telluride, Bangalore. Low-lying placenta, also called as placenta previa. Now, whether normal delivery is possible or not, it is definitely depends on the type of placenta previa and the degree of placenta previa. There are many other factors like previous normal delivery, previous C-section, or the blood group of the patient, the RH typing of the patient. There are so many things. Availability of blood in uh, higher centers or lower or lower uh, centers the patient is being delivered. So it depends on many, many, many reasons whether a low-lying placenta or a placenta previa should go in for a normal delivery or a C-section is entirely the decision of the gynecologist because she would know at, her, at that time the best whether with this type of low-lying placenta the patient is going to bleed or not any uh, because the placenta is lower than the baby so in low lying placenta what happens is instead the baby coming first there's the placenta there so as i told you there are different types of placenta one which is covering uh, the mouth of the uterus completely or if it is not then it may be little above the just reaching the mouth of the uterus or a little more above so one which is reaching the mouth of the uterus a normal delivery can be tried but one which is covering or half partially covering or anything like that no normal delivery can be tried because the placenta is just there at the opening and uh, if you start any method of treatment to induce labor or the labor pain comes by itself the first thing which is going to happen is patient is going to bleed and over bleeding and placental separation may lead to death of the fetus so it is uh, placenta previa complete or partial which is complete covering the uh, mouth of the uterus is definitely a contraindication for normal delivery but when it is little above a normal delivery can be tried in a higher center with appropriate arrangement of blood and a 24 hours uh, ot anesthetist and ot ready to be taken up in case of an emergency